We're going to look at another experiment today. This one has to do with mechanical vibration and lift. So it's a pretty cool video. Also for everybody who checked out the video yesterday and saw this one right here, this invention, I'll go ahead and discuss it at the end and tell you what it actually was. But let's take a look at this one and we'll discuss it. It's really cool what happens. It takes a minute to get started, but after it does, you'll understand why I wanted to see it. Anyway, here we go. Let's watch this one more time. Now, let's look at the inside. It's pretty smooth. We got a couple little spots where they come together, but nothing real major in there. We have ridges or threads on the actual uh, all thread there or bolt, whatever you used. That may hang up uh, a little bit when you get to this. So you could say why it's vibrating, it's touching on those and it, it's hanging it up, but it's going to be minimal. So, let's go ahead and look at this. Let's turn on the vibration. As we can see, it's a pretty decent vibration there. And it floats. Now, that's amazing, isn't it? You push it down, comes right back up. Now, here's the cool part. When you increase the speed of vibration, it comes up faster. And there it goes. Kind of tells you something about rotation too. Always wants to rotate. It's pretty interesting guys. I found this extremely powerful when it comes to how it sees weight. It's not changing the weight at all. It just changes the way that the earth sees the weight. That's kind of what we're trying to do in our gravity flyer, isn't it? Alright, let's take a look at this experiment guys. We did it yesterday. Everybody had their opinion on it. Let's go ahead and talk about exactly what happened here. So, as we can see, we have bars on the bottom and we have a flat bar on top. Now, normally, if you wanted to do ion wind, you have a breakout point and you have a flat point in order to get it to flow in one direction. Now, we obviously have a breakout point. We have a flat point. However, at no point in this video do we hear the hissing sound. So, what does that mean? It means there's not enough to where you can turn on the lights and get the purple plasma glow. So, you're not getting a whole lot of ion wind. You're getting far less. I can tell you by the exact inches that I can see right here. We're at two and three quarters, maybe three inches right there in distance in this picture what it looks like. We're a little too far away from getting the, the ion wind in the way that you would need it. Now, it doesn't mean that the ion wind effects are not there. Everything that has to do with high voltage between two fields gets a charge in it. So, there's always a charge on the top plate. There's always a charge on the bottom plate. We see this piece of packing material here. What happens? You're building up a charge inside of it. This has to do with T.T. Brown and his little lifter experiment that he did. He put the same type of packing foam in it and it would actually hold a charge in. As you see this experiment, and I'll run it again so everybody sees it again, but it's creating a charge in it. Now, 
once that charge is filled up, it's going to want to go to the other side. It's going to want to get to the charge that it wants to be with. It's attracted to it. So it will actually pull up to that level. That's the understanding here. It's kind of like the old timers paper uh, lifter experiments where they did the static electricity. All that is is building a charge. It'd be no different than taking a rag and rubbing a PVC pipe with a soda can. You're just creating a charge in both items and it's going to either attract or repel based on the charges that go into each item. Is it the levitation effect? Let's go ahead and take a look at another picture with the paper and see if it matches that. This effect it has to do with charge. Let's look at the paper because there's a little bit more going on there. The paper here is a bit trickier. So, you would say it lifts off and bounces in between two points on ion wind. But that wouldn't necessarily be correct here. We're getting a charge on the paper itself so it's fully charged. Charge likes to attract and repel. What you see is the two sharp points always going down or up to the charge portion. You're not seeing the flat part and you're not seeing a rounded part. So, levitation experiment, yes. So, in this one, we're actually getting a breakout point on the paper, which has the most charge on it, and then it likes to attract itself to either the negative or positive, and that's why it bounces back and forth. It's looking to take the charge in it and get to the point where it wants to be with each side that it goes on. That's why it bounces in between the two. Most people would say ion wind. However, if it was ion wind, it would go to the top and stick. If it was a simple charge thing, it would go like at the end of the video where it just sticks completely to the side in the packing material there. This right here has to do with the charges and how they want to go to one side. Now, because it's in the middle of them, it, it's like it can't decide which side it wants to be on. It gets up there and it repels. It gets down there it repels. And it keeps going back and forth until it finally settles on the side. Now, let's go back to both experiments and run them again. And let's see exactly what we're looking at. And then we'll go back to the first one we looked at today and look at it again because I just think it's awesome. So here's a bonus question for everybody who got it yesterday. Can you tell when the power is turned on and off? And if so, is it when the piece is at the bottom or is it when it's at the top? Let me know. Here's a second bonus question. We used the packing material in the first one to get it to cling and get it to move in between the two fields. Is the packing material on the outside here charged? If so, why? And if not, why not?
I just want to thank everybody for watching the video yesterday and actually commenting on it and giving your opinion on everything. Some of you got it right on, some of you a little bit off, some of you got partial of it. Guys, it's a fun thing to do to look at these experiments and everybody tell you exactly what they're thinking in the head. Can I tell you if we're all on the same page or not? So I think pretty close we all are, guys. Anyway, here's all the responses. Thank you guys again. If any of you out there have done experiments like this and you want to have them on the channel here, by all means, send them to my email, oldmannathanbutton at gmail.com. I'll leave it in a link in the description. And I'll go ahead and feature it on here and we'll ask everybody the same questions. What do you think is going on? I think it's interesting, it's cool, and I'd love to see the responses, guys. Thank you. If you like what you saw here today, please like, share, subscribe, and always comment, and have yourself a great day. Thank you.